What it is, what it was, what it is, what it does. It's your boy Arlene Trucker, back with another. So I just had a new low weigh-in today. Actually really excited about that because of the fact that you saw my last video, you realized that I went overboard on my cheat day or turned into a cheat day, you know? So to actually lose a pound is um, really good because I didn't think I was gonna lose anything and that's one of the worst things for me. It's not the fact that I, you have a stalling week, so to speak. It's the fact that you put the work in, you want to see the results. So but anyway, that's good. Right now, I'm about to go with uh, me and my daughter. I'm about to go out to eat. So we used to frequently go on daddy-daughter dates where we was out to eat to the movies. Haven't done that. So they're going to be the first one. We'll see where we're going. I'm gonna see if I can show the meal since after all, this is a dining series. This is where we eating at. It's one of my favorite places. I haven't been here in like months, months. For different reasons or another. All right, I'm gonna have um, one or two of these. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, but anyway. Yep. Just waiting on our food to come in. I got a lot of food, just a heads up. I like I said, we're fat boy hearted. It is what it is. Okay, so yes, I actually am gonna eat all of it. How much of it? All of it. But this is the first time I've eaten today. It's probably about three o'clock. I'm only gonna have one more meal. So yes, and I got my proteins right here. You know what I'm saying? I got it good to go. I ain't ashamed. I did it. I told y'all I was gonna do it. You should have believed me. That's it. After that, came on back to the house out that little Cracker Barrel, all them pancakes, <laughs> right back to work. <laughs> Stay active, guys. That's, that's another way you can lose that weight. Nutrition is key. Nutrition, first and foremost. Stay, stay hydrated here. Stay active. All right, so switching it up. That's what I'm doing. This time, you know, I told you, I just switch it up every week. I switch something, therefore I won't get tired of eating the same thing every single day. This week, I got the potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Show the calories on them real quick. For one serving, I know it's backwards, just work with me. 60 calories and pretty much these just carbs, 13 grams of carbs. That's it, let me show you. Cook it in two. Make it faster as always. This is actually by itself Monday through Friday. So this shouldn't take long, but I'm also gonna add some stuff in it. I'm back. Okay, gonna add some um, turkey crumbles. Well, I'm adding this stuff in there for my potatoes once they cook. I'm getting, well, I'm adding a couple whole eggs to that mix and some shredded cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead Turn the camera off, get to this, and then I'll show you the finished product with that. Oh, let me show you one more thing. And I just add seasoned salt. I love this stuff. I don't know everybody does, but I do, and pepper. And I'll show you the finished product on this one. This is gonna be my so-called breakfast. And I'm gonna show you that. Then I work on lunch whenever I feel like it. <laughs> All right, I'll go to the finished product with my potatoes, you know, Turkey crumbles, eggs, cheese. Throw a little egg whites in there as well. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm working on lunch. What's it? What this is is um chicken. Let me show it this one. That's what it is right here. This whole pack right here is 63 grams of protein. That's why I like to use it. Where is that? There you go. Good stuff. And I'm gonna throw some uh, provolone cheese in here, in here as well. That's it, I'm that provolone, melting on it. About to take it off, throw them in there, wrap them up, just like I did those. That's it, you got this one cooking again, another one.
Just got through with a back and bicep workout and 30 minutes, roughly 30 minutes, but more importantly, I was tracking it with my watch. I, um, 300 calorie session, it is 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10 o'clock at night. The meal I ate early, I wanted to say this. The meal, all them pancakes, there was six of them, <laughs> all that food. That was pretty much all I had. I had a protein bar before that, which I forgot. I had a protein bar and then I had that food. And at this point, I'm not really hungry. I'm still satisfied somehow. That was, I think, around two o'clock. And um, so all I'm gonna do is have a protein shake. As far as food, and that's it. Take a shower and chill out for a few hours or whenever I fall asleep. The reason why I mention that is because some of these people you see and you like, how they eat all that food and they still stay in shape or, or whatever. That's how, like that's probably the part they don't say. I wanna make sure I'm clear on that. You can't out train a bad diet. It's impossible. Eventually you're gonna gain weight. So like in my case, even my intention, this was my plan. I knew my daughter wanted to go out and eat somewhere. I'm like, cool, let's do it. So my intention was, didn't know where we was gonna go. I was gonna go ahead and enjoy whatever meal I wanted. And then I was gonna eat my chicken and veggies. So essentially I was gonna have a big meal with a very small meal. That was gonna be it. Like that was my intention. So it was like, keep how much I'm eating for today in check. And then tomorrow, get back on my regular schedule program. That's it. So the bottom line I'm telling you is you can go out, enjoy time with your family and friends. Just plan ahead of time on how you're gonna eat. A lot of restaurants they got these days, you can actually pull up your phone, use an app, or use their um, online system and it tells you exactly how many calories. I mean, I'm saying exactly, but you know, it's gonna be um, off maybe here and there, but they got nutrition info on the menus, online on the nutrition um, website. So we don't really have any excuses. That's how you can do it. That's how I did it today. That's it. I'm going to make this one my first one. Yeah, it looks good. Especially that cheese melted up. Yeah, it's about, actually it's 8 o'clock on the dot. So I got this one. Get a little cardio in this morning while I'm waiting to get unloaded. I want to say this. Oh yeah, first of all, I'm making uh, changes again. I'm dropping another 25 carbs to keep the progress going. Remember, you're going to have to do one or two things to continue to, your um, weight loss journey and losing fat. That is, you either gotta up your um, activity level or drop your calories. I don't wanna do any more cardio. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing enough of that. Um, I'm trained enough. So, and then I'm not struggling with my food these days as far as I'm not really being hungry. So I'm deciding to drop um, my food. 
But also I wanted to mention the reason why I prefer, just for me personally, macros over calories, even though it's all about calories in, calories out, burn more than you take in, you'll lose the weight. But for me, it's also a mental thing. I noticed that, trying to stay away avoid the noise. I noticed that like, uh, I just told y'all I'm gonna drop my carbs on 25 grams. And looking at it that way, as opposed to looking at the amount of calories I'm gonna be eating today, it's just a mental game, it's just a big difference. So the calories, I think I put on the screen, but when I looked at it, that I'm gonna be eating today is like 1700 or something. The reason I'm bringing this up because if you told me that I had to eat 1700 calories, I'd probably be like, nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> but when I got the macros, I'm, I'm just, it's a numbers game. I'm looking at it that way and I don't even see it like that. So just a little tip, maybe to help you, but like I said, it's not necessary. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna make it meal number two. It's gonna eat them all. So I threw some peppers in there, jalapenos. But yeah, this is uh, that same food. I'm just gonna eat all three of them right now. Oh, and I threw some, uh, my sugar-free barbecue sauce and the sriracha. Let me show that real quick. Y'all already know about the sriracha. Yeah, you know about the sriracha. I didn't show it too much. And this the sugar-free barbecue sauce I'm using right here. 10 calories. All right. Man, I, I don't know, I just like crashed. <laughs> don't know what hit me. I was feeling good. Just crashed. Anyway, go home. Took a shower, lay down for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. But anyway, that's what we got. I'm gonna eat my chicken and veggies right now. Uh, put my usual on here. Put the same stuff and I put in my burritos. Gonna have a power bar, protein bar. I'll wash it all down with a strawberry banana. Body on the drink. Get a little potassium in there. The last meal, the bowl, the second, number two, of what I had for breakfast. I'm gonna wash it down with this. I'm gonna wrap this up all the day. Threw some of this in there, which anytime you see this stuff from me, the flavored water, you're gonna see, you're gonna see this as well. That's it. Some people, when I've eaten, they seem like a lot of food. You know, it's like, you always eat. <laughs> yes, if you learn nutrition and what's really in food, you can eat the same way. Well, you gotta eat like me, but you know, have some of the foods you like and still be in a calorie deficit in order to lose fat. You gotta learn nutrition. That's why I think, that's why I know and I believe learning how to track macros or just track calories, tracking, learning how to do it is very important. That way you will know the value of food. I hope that makes sense. Keep it in mind, stay on the grind one day at a time. Salute. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gon' have to make them believe.